In this video, we're going to look at interpreting the output in SPSS for a Spearman's row correlation coefficient. So this is my output table, and I've correlated the employee's total competency score before they start their job, and this is a continuous scale variable, with age groups. And because age groups is categorical, I have to use, well, it's categorical and it's ordinal, so I'm going to use Spearman's row. Now you can see here that this box on the lower left and this one on the upper right have the same information in them and that's because they're the same correlation, they're just printed twice. So this one is for age groups with competency and this is competency with age groups. So it's the same test, just showed twice. And we have ones across the diagonal because a variable correlated with itself will always be perfectly positively correlated. So remember, correlation coefficients range between minus 1 and plus 1. Minus 1 means perfect negative correlation, and plus 1 means perfect positive correlation. So if we look here at our correlation coefficient, that's the first value here. It's 0.254. And if we look on a standard table to help us understand what that value means, we'll find that it's a small to moderate strength correlation. Now this value here, sig two-tailed is our p-value and this is going to help us know whether this correlation that we observed in our sample is actually statistically significant. So I'm going to compare that to my level of significance which is my alpha and my alpha is 0.05. Now because this value is smaller than my alpha value I can conclude that I can accept my alternate hypothesis and say that the small to moderate positive correlation that I observed between employees' total competency and their age group is statistically significant. Now because mine is a two-tailed, my alternate hypothesis just said that there was a correlation. I didn't specify whether it would be positive or negative, which is why this is two-tailed. And the whole point of doing a statistical test for significance is because we have a sample and we're trying to determine if what we observed in our sample is true of the population. And that partly has to do with how the data was collected. So this test is assuming that the data was collected properly, it was a random sample, and it's representative of the population. And if that's true, then we can conclude there's enough evidence to suggest that a small to moderate positive correlation also exists in our population.